moving on. Ever since India began its journey as an elected non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council for a two-year term in January 2021, the country has been raising its voice against acts of terrorism at the global level, particularly in South Asia. Recently, India urged the United Nations Security Council to remain cognizant of the dangers of weapon of mass destruction falling into the hands of terrorist groups. India is not only concerned about safety and security of people living in its own territory, but it always reiterates adopting and executing improved strategies to counter terrorism globally, especially in South Asia. In a recently held briefing by the UN Security Council's 1540 Committee on the issue of non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, India reaffirmed its unwavering commitment to global efforts to prevent the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. India's permanent member to UN, T.S. Tirumurthy, urged the Council to remain cognizant of the dangers of weapons of mass destruction falling into the hands of terror groups. The access to these weapons of mass destruction by non-state actors adds a serious dimension to threats posed by these weapons to international peace and security. Resolution 1540 identifies terrorists and terrorist groups as key non-state actors who may acquire, develop, traffic in, or use weapons of mass destruction and their means of delivery. As a victim of terrorism for several decades, we are fully cognizant of the cataclysmic dangers that access of WMD to terrorist groups could entail. In this regard, India has been co-sponsoring an annual resolution in the General Assembly since 2002 on measures to prevent terrorists from acquiring weapons of mass destruction that has been adopted by consensus. A number of countries in the world are working on the development and production of weapons of mass destruction. They can kill and eliminate large numbers of people in a short time or cause great damage to human-made and natural structures or the biosphere. There remains a grave danger that several well-established and well-founded park back terror organizations like Al-Qaeda, Taliban and ISIS have now gained access to these weapons and materials and methods of their formation. Earlier, Osama bin Laden, founder of Al-Qaeda, openly declared himself in favor of this idea. Speaking at the UN Security Council, India highlighted the cataclysmic dangers that access of weapons of mass destruction to terrorist groups could entail to international peace and security. Preventing non-state actors, including terrorists, from acquiring and using weapons of mass destruction is among the most important responsibilities of the international community. Biosecurity and biosafety measures have assumed particular salience in the context of the pandemic to prevent non-state actors, especially terrorists, from taking advantage of the situation. The focus on non-state actors, however, should in no way diminish state accountability in preventing access of non-state actors to these weapons, criminalizing and controlling such access and dismantling its support infrastructure to such non-state actors. In this regard, my delegation accords great importance and support the 1540 Committee's mandate and its work. For several years, India has been itself battling terrorism with great determination. Terrorism is a global phenomenon whose destructive potential and lethal reach is enhanced by linkages to illicit trafficking in drugs and small arms and international money laundering operations. Domestic measures alone cannot deal with terrorism as long as some countries continue to provide safe havens for terrorists. Therefore, to be effective, the fight against terrorism must be long-term, sustained and global. It must tackle not just the perpetrators of the acts, but also those who support and sponsor them.